V-10 Bronco, produced by the Columbus Aircraft Division of Rockwell International, has successfully demonstrated its versatility and reliability under combat conditions. This small turboprop aircraft is slower, but more maneuverable than jets, faster and more versatile than helicopters. Bronco can perform close-in tactical support missions not possible with either of these types of aircraft. During the Vietnam conflict, this rugged aircraft was used in combat operations daily by the Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy. Bronco entered the conflict in 1968 and very quickly established its reputation for dependability. After flying 900 miles from the Philippines, the first detachment of Marine Corps OB-10s was flying combat missions less than three hours after arrival. The Marine Corps successfully used Bronco for tactical air control operations. Airborne day and night, these aircraft were armed typically with machine guns and rockets for target marking and close air support. Air Force Broncos began to arrive in Vietnam less than a month after the Marine Corps detachment. The first six aircraft were disassembled and airlifted into the country and were in combat within a week. The Air Force primarily used the OB-10 to perform forward air control duties for both close air support and supply route interdiction missions. The tactical versatility of the OB-10 was further dramatized by Navy light attack operations in the Mekong Delta in support of troop and waterways patrol. A squadron of OB-10s, nicknamed Black Ponies, provided the quick reaction and firepower necessary for two years of highly successful day and night riverine operations. Under the most severe tropical and other environmental combat conditions, Bronco has proven to be extremely rugged and reliable. The success of the OB-10 in combat is a reflection of the design characteristics of the aircraft. Two T-76 turboprop engines, rated at 715 horsepower, are the heart of a reliable propulsion system. The aluminum propellers are fully reversible and are counter-rotating to reduce torque effects. The engine propeller installation, in combination with a unique landing gear system, provides the capability for very short takeoff and landings. Remote forward area operations are practical since the engines can be replaced in a short period of time by common hand tools. When necessary, the engines can also operate on standard automotive fuels, generally available in the field. Crew survivability is enhanced by five self-sealing fuel tanks filled with explosion-resistant foam. In combat, the fuel tanks have absorbed numerous small arms hits. An all-mechanical dual flight control system from both cockpits provides reduced vulnerability and the ability to perform violent evasive maneuvers. 325 pounds of armor plating and a bullet-resistant front windshield provide further crew protection. A zero-speed, zero-altitude ejection seat system has saved the lives of a number of crewmen and has performed successfully during each ejection within the design envelope. Bronco underwent many severe tests to verify its rugged design features, including vertical sink rates up to 20 feet per second. During development testing, the OB-10 was landed against four-inch curbs and on a specially designed washboard runway to test the trailing arm type landing gear. Although extremely uncomfortable for the test pilots, these landings presented no problem for the aircraft. The rugged design features of the OB-10 assure an excellent rough field landing capability, while its oversized tires permit operation in soft ground. By design, Bronco has proven to be well suited to a number of combat roles. It's capable of performing strike support missions by delivering a variety of target marking and light attack ordnance on target. The aircraft sponsons contain four 7.62 millimeter machine guns with 2,000 rounds internal capacity. Seven store stations can accommodate a wide selection of conventional ordnance. The centerline station can carry a 20 millimeter gun pod or stores up to 1,200 pounds at eight Gs. 
It can also carry external fuel tanks of 150 to 300 gallons capacity. A variety of ordnance can be delivered from four Sponson stations, each having an 8G capacity of 600 pounds. Two outboard wing stations are equipped to carry 5-inch Zuni rockets and Sidewinder missiles. Other stores up to 600 pounds at AGs may be carried by using another type of wing pylon with a standard bomb shackle. Bronco can deliver flares to illuminate enemy night movements for ground support and can attack under its own flare drop. In a strike environment, the OB-10 is capable of delivering pre-fall stores such as CBU, napalm, and bombs on enemy positions. The ability to deliver mixed ordnance loads accurately, plus tandem cockpit seating featuring panoramic visibility and a full set of air-to-ground communications and homing, make the Bronco particularly well suited for visual observation, tactical air control, and light attack roles. The OB-10 can also escort helicopters en route, or range ahead to scout terrain, or mark landing spots. Ground convoy escort is another role the aircraft can fulfill. Observation and protection could be performed effectively at night with an appropriate sensor and gun system. Armed reconnaissance, surveillance, and damage assessment are other military missions within the capability of the aircraft. A dual-mode version of the M197 20mm gun was developed and successfully demonstrated on an OB-10 gunship in 1972. The gun is mounted in the aircraft's utility bay and is capable of either fixed forward or fixed side fire at a rate of 750 to 1500 rounds per minute. The firing mode is selectable in the air. Using a basic side-mounted fixed sight, the pilot simply flies the crosshairs on the target. Testing has proven that very accurate, sustained fire can be directed at both ground and airborne targets from this versatile gunship. Tracking tests were conducted against helicopters in maneuvering flight from hover up to 110 knot speed. Helicopter maneuvering had little effect on the ability of the OB-10 to maintain air-to-air -air orbital track in a side-firing mode. Bronco's versatility is further demonstrated by the variety of potential military and civil uses of its utility bay. Five paratroopers or six combat infantrymen can be transported readily to remote areas. If supplies must be moved from point to point, the OB-10 can carry up to 3,200 pounds. Airdrop of resupply loads has been demonstrated. Medical evacuation is another capability provided by Bronco. Two litter patients and a medic can be accommodated in the utility bay. A wide variety of OB-10 missions is possible because of the aircraft's 8G performance characteristics at speeds up to 350 knots. Bob Hooper, one of America's foremost precision stunt pilots, has demonstrated Bronco's range of flight capabilities at air shows. Because of Bronco's outstanding performance and its demonstrated mission versatility in combat, several other countries have purchased the aircraft to satisfy their specific requirements. The Federal Republic of Germany is using a specially designed jet engine pod version of the OB-10 to tow targets and to simulate a close support aircraft for radar tracking. Thailand has been successfully using the Bronco for several years in the counterinsurgency role. The Venezuelan Air Force acquired the aircraft in early 1973 for light attack operations. Rockwell International's OB-10 Bronco has proven to be a rugged, versatile, reliable and effective aircraft in a combat environment. United States operations in Vietnam have demonstrated impressive maintenance and reliability with 3.3 maintenance man-hours per flight hour and operational readiness close to 90 percent. Some aircraft were flown as much as 180 hours in one month. At the end of the Vietnam conflict in early 1973, OB-10s had flown over 600,000 hours in support of United States military operations. 
The same flexible design characteristics that were responsible for its success in combat allow for a variety of utility missions and future modular equipment packages. Because the OB-10 fills the gap between the mission spectrum of jets and helicopters, it is ideally suited for numerous military and civil light aircraft support roles. With its better than 15,000 hour service life, the Bronco will be supporting its users for some time to come. The YOV-10D Night Observation Gunship System, NODS, was developed in response to a prime operational requirement identified by the Commandant of the Marine Corps. The aircraft was designated the YOV-10D. As modified, it contains a day or night sensor developed by Hughes Aircraft for target acquisition and tracking, and a flexible 20 millimeter gun developed by General Electric for primary armament. The tandem cockpit provides flight controls and instruments for both pilot and observer, as well as sensor and gun controls. The pilot has a five inch display for the FLIR and two simple control panels. One on the left for the sensor and gun, and one on the right for his wing stores. In the aft cockpit, the operator has an eight inch display. Immediately below the operator's sensor display, are controls for sensor mode and gun selection. Three operating modes are provided. Manual pointing for navigation, fixed forward for conventional weapons delivery, and manual track for firing the gun. For tracking, the operator has a hand control at his right for pointing the sensor and the gun. The direction and amount of thumb pressure applied to the track button determines the direction and rate of slewing. The aft section of the fuselage is hinged, giving easy access to the utility bay in which most of the avionics and the gun feed mechanism are located. The hanging ammunition feed system has a capacity of 1,520 millimeter rounds. These may be high explosive, incendiaries, or armor piercing. The flying qualities and armament compatibility tests were performed at China Lake. The flying qualities of the modified aircraft were found to be satisfactory and very similar to the standard OV-10A. Aircraft performance, however, especially for single engine operation, was deemed marginal. More powerful engines were recommended for production systems. The armament, sensor, and airframe were found to be compatible in all respects. Here the gun is firing in its fixed forward mode. The pilot uses either his FLIR display or the OV-10's gun sight to aim for conventional weapon delivery. This sequence in slow motion shows the ejection of shell casings and belt links into the airstream. Here the gun is servoed to the FLIR sensor through the fire control computer. The gun fired reliably and safely in all directions. Compatibility with wing ordnance was also demonstrated. Rockets are fired. A fuel air explosive bomb drops from the pylon. Finally, a rocket cluster is fired during a 325 knot dive. The aircraft passes over a couple of tankers on the way to the target area. This is a practice target ship. The crew fires a burst of HE rounds along the deck. Here's a 12 by 24 foot wooden target barge being used for evaluation of the weapon system's shooting accuracy. Another pass at the barge. A marker flare was ignited by this burst and started a fire. A second burst fired in the water put the fire out. The following film was taken by a remote scope camera during actual missions. We're airborne now, heading toward the assigned target area. 
we'll look at several scenes on the way. A farm area. A village. A runner on a motorcycle. People at the right hand point of a fortification. A helicopter. Observation of riverine traffic. Some people moving around. Wigglies and canals. Now we're approaching the target area. Let's listen to the crew. Uh, this will be a good turn. Give me a chance to look up that stream and see if there's anything in there. Okay, I got a hot spot on the water, or on the... Yeah, that's the boat, hiding under the trees and people on it. Thank you, Joey. What we've got down here is a uh, camouflage boat, Miss Quigley. For the record, I ask him, uh, you know, does he agree with the area open to fire and all that, because these guys are going to get away. In short, the Nogs Fleur flexible gun system has proven to be a viable concept, offering unique capabilities for conducting tactical operations day or night. <laughs> 